What's up everybody? This is the Force of Nature Spiritual Awakening. And today we will be talking about sex as a weapon placements. Okay? I'm sure plenty of people are going to have a couple of these things. So when I say sex as a weapon, I'm actually talking about people that can get what they want through sex. Okay, so yes, they could be um, using their sex as a manipulative tool to get what they want. You see what I'm saying? Um, even to pay back people, get people back, okay? You know how you might have got cheated on and things like that, and then you'll cheat on a person and things like that to make them jealous, to rile them up and things like that, to get the partner to start acting the way that you want them to act. So it could also be seen that way. Okay, so we're going to jump into this. Um, I want to let everybody know I do have a sale going on. 189 per reading. Okay, anybody that's interested, if you purchase two readings at the same time, it will be 289. All right, I appreciate each and every one of you. My phone number is 516-738-6042. Let's jump into it. So we have Sun in the 10th house. Sun in the 8th house. Sun in the 5th house. Sun in the 1st house. Sun in the 12th house. Sun in Capricorn. Sun in Scorpio. Sun in Leo. Sun in Aries. Sun in Pisces. Venus in the 5th house. Venus in the 10th house. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Venus in the eighth house. Venus in the first house. Venus in the twelfth house. Mars in the tenth house. Mars in the fifth house. Mars in the eighth house. Mars in the first house. Mars in the twelfth house. Venus in Leo. Venus in Capricorn. Venus in Scorpio. Venus in Aries, Venus in Pisces, Mars in Capricorn, Mars in Leo, Mars in Scorpio, Mars in Aries, Mars in Pisces, Jupiter in the fifth house, Jupiter in Leo, Jupiter in the first house, Jupiter in Aries, Saturn in the first house, Saturn in Aries, Pluto in Aries, Pluto in the first house, Neptune in Aries, Neptune in the first house, Pisces rising, Scorpio rising, Taurus rising, Leo rising, Aries rising. Okay, Sun in Taurus, Taurus Sun, Sun in the second house, Moon in Taurus. Moon in the second house. Venus in Taurus. Venus in the second house. Mars conjunct, squared, or opposite. Jupiter. Mars conjunct, squared, or opposite. Neptune. Mars conjunct, squared, or opposite. Pluto. Sun conjunct, squared, opposite. Mars. Sun conjunct, squared, or opposite. Pluto. Sun conjunct squared opposite Neptune. Sun conjunct squared opposite Venus. Venus conjunct opposite squared Mars. Venus conjunct opposite squared Pluto. Venus conjunct opposite squared Neptune. Okay, so I we'll also have Aries placement. Scorpio placements, Libra placements, Taurus placements, Leo placements, okay? So now, I would definitely say Aries stellium, Scorpio stellium, Libra stellium, Taurus stellium, Leo stellium, first house stellium, eighth house stellium, seventh house stellium, second house stellium, and fifth house stellium. Saturn in the eighth house. Saturn in Scorpio, Jupiter in Scorpio, Jupiter in the eighth house, Neptune in Scorpio, Neptune in the eighth house. And last, we have 
Pluto in the 12th house. Pluto in Pisces. Okay, I am going to leave this on this note for now. Please let me know if you have these placements and what you think about all of this. Okay, the fact that you <laughs> use sex as a weapon and when you when the hell you feel like it. <laughs> all right, so anybody interested in getting their chart analyzed, hit me up. My phone number once again is 516-738-6042. If anybody wants to donate to the channel, please feel free. I appreciate anything. So this is the Force of Nature, Spiritual Awakening, Love is Love. Peace and blessings to you all, and I will see you on the next one.